I lost my my mom a few days ago. And you lost your mom a few days ago. Yeah. Okay. And I feel like, why am I praying? God don't love me. That God doesn't love you. Yeah. Wow. So why why do you feel that God doesn't love you? So many wrong things that happened in my life. Give me top three. Financially. Financially, one. I'm a single mom. You're a single mom too. No help. There's no help. One minute, there's no help. I have people I that my friends. Yeah. And when I call to talk about something like Alpha, this is what I'm going through. Can you come through for me? When I know you can, nobody comes through for me. Nobody comes through for you. So you're saying that in your entire life, nobody has ever come through for you before. My dad. Your dad. So in the last one and a half years, there's nobody that's helped you before. Think about it. There has been one or two people that have sent you money, yes or no? True. True. So how can you say nobody helps you? The situation at that time. The the reason just, the thought just, just comes in. I, I will tell you why the thought comes in. I, I'm going to come to Oman. The reason why the thought comes in is this. Because at that time, this is why you feel negative. You choose to focus on the negative. So, for example, think about it. Three people have helped in the last one year. Yes or no? True. True? True. Mention their names in your mind. Don't mention the names on the mic microphone. Mention their names in your mind. How do you feel remembering that? Use the microphone. Use the microphone. How do you feel? Remember that these people helped me. Good. Good. The reason why you feel good is because you choose to focus. And I tell you something. What we've not linked over time is that we, don't, we, do, we have not trained to know you can choose what you focus on emotionally or with your thoughts. And the Bible is the first person that teaches us that. He says, set your affection. Your affection means your emotions. He said that, the Bible says in, in, in this way, it says, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things of good report, he said, think of these things. He tells you what to think on and what not to what think on. So the reason why you feel God doesn't love you is because nobody helps. But from today, we see that that's not really true. People help you sometimes and they don't help you what? Sometimes. Yes or no? True. True. Is that a normal human experience or that's an abnormal human experience? Use the microphone. Normal human experience. Is that a problem? No, it's not. So that's the first thing. So second, you're, you're a single mom. And as a single mom, is it all negative? No. So why did you say so? What's the problem? <sighs> Do you know why it's not all negative? Because the moment I say, as a kingdom, is all negative, you look towards your side. And there's a handsome young boy there. What's his name? Miracle. What? Miracle. Oh, my God. Miracle, come. Miracle, come. Come, come. Come and give me a hug. Mmm. You are a miracle. Your mommy is over there. She loves you. You know that, right? You have the best mommy in the world, right? Do you love your mommy? She said, I love my mommy. And the reason why I said that is that when you say that you're a single mom and that's your second biggest problem, is this your second biggest problem? This is your biggest joy. The theme is that you need to focus. Let's take a picture of me and Miracle. Miracle high five. Yeah. Praise God. Help me hold Miracle back to his seat. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. How many of you would love to have a guy as, like that? Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Lady, look around. This is your second biggest problem. 
And everybody here is praying for it. So let me ask another question. So what is this teaching you? What are you learning about money from this face? You don't know. That's fine. How is it limiting you? Use the microphone, yeah. Self-doubt. What? Self-doubt. Yeah, but in a practical way, how is this limiting you? One, two, three, four, five. In practical ways, how is this limiting you? The funding, how is it limiting you? Yeah. Um, fees, rent, and all Did of that. Did you see that? When I say how is limiting her, she had a lot of things to say. When I said, what is it teaching her? She doesn't have anything to say. The reason why is this. You're focusing on how it's limiting you, not what you're learning. And for you to come out of it, you have to think about what you're learning to come out of it. So I've what's always, the cause of your self-doubt? Like, no one's going to help me. Like, I can't do it. You can't do it. So why can't you do it? I think it's just my mindset. Where, where did it come from? Where did it start? Firstly, were you born that way? No, I wasn't. Is that when you were in university, secondary school, business, when you had the baby? No, when I lost my dad. When you lost your dad? That's why you felt as if you, you couldn't do it. Why was that ta attached to your dad? Your dad was a very big support for you. Use the microphone. What did he used to do? Yeah, tell me. My dad is the only one who calls me in the morning and says, Mary, how are you doing? My dad is the only one who, ah, dad, this is not happening right now. I need support in this area, and he comes through for me. Is that good or bad? Good. What? Good. Should I be honest with you? Mm -hmm. It's good and bad. All of us that parent, you can love your children so much, you protect them from the real world. You're setting them up for failure. I'm telling the truth. Some of you love your children so much. You're protecting them from the real world. And that's why all of these things about don't give people grades in school, everybody has passed, everybody's a success. You know this new thing going on in schools? It's all rubbish. Because in the real world, people win and people lose. And every child must know what it feels like winning, what it feels like losing, and what to do when you win and what to do when you lose. Can I be honest with you? Ladies that are very close to their fathers always have marital problems. It's in a, in a funny way. And you know why they have mental problems? Because most of the time, they expect their father from their husband. Then number two, they always forget that their father, they were their father's daughter, not their father's wife. So when they come into a marriage, they want to be treated as that favorite daughter of their husband. The reason why is that once you know that, then you know that if this is just life, then I know how to what, approach it. So you say your self-doubt started when your father died. Yeah. What did your father's death mean to you? Watch, listen, everybody. What did it mean to you? Like my life came crushing. Did you hear that? Is that true? No. Yeah. Why do you believe that? Because other things happened, other events came up. Yeah. If your father, if you could see your father right now on this stage, and you tell him that, what will he tell you? On you. you know the point the point is that something happened to you big in your life your father died and you gave it a meaning I never said that so you gave it a meaning so you'll be surprised that in your family your father's death did not affect everybody equally it affected you more yes or no yeah, I'm carrying my family on my shoulder yeah what I'm carrying my family on my shoulder you're carrying your family on your shoulder but that's, I understand that. But it still didn't affect everybody equally. Yeah. The reason why is that because every person gave different meaning to it. The meaning you gave to your father's death was this, that my life is over, I have no helper, life is crushing me. What do you experience? You experience those very things. I said to your dad. Yeah. So what does your mom's death mean to you now? You've lost both of them. Yeah, often, a man often. What? I'm an orphan. You're an orphan? Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? That's the negative of saying the positive thing. Why now? Why now? When my mom died, I'm like, 
Why now? Okay, you, you know I don't know too much, yeah. but the good thing about being an orphan is that you're respons- you can be responsible. So why not choose the responsible part? Why not choose the fact that I'm an orphan? You'll never hear me say I'm an orphan. I just say my parents are dead. Because it often comes along with helplessness. Yes, but I want to take the part of responsibility. You know, that kind of thing. There's grace for you. Is that okay? How do you feel? I feel good. Praise Thank God. You very much. Yeah, amen. You know the thing? The more you begin to tell yourself that, Lord, this is the blessing of this, the more you will see more blessing come out of it. Bring miracle. Tomorrow is his birthday. Okay. So, oh, wow. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Praise God. Miracles, mommy. See how your son has made you famous. Praise God. So make sure that you see one of my assistants so that for the next one year I'll pay for his school fees. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. <laughs>